how fast you were driving? I'm so sorry, officer. I promise that I'll slow down next time. That sounds good, ma'am. We're not going to give you a speeding ticket today, but make sure that you drive safely on the road and slow down. Have a good day. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Taylor. Today, we're going to talk about antonyms. But what exactly are antonyms? Antonyms are two words that have the opposite meaning. For example, wrap is the opposite of unwrap. Ashley is wrapping a Christmas present for someone. You can't see what it is. Carson is unwrapping his Christmas present. Look, it's a new baseball bat. You can see what it is. Un is a prefix that means not. When we put the prefix un with the base word wrap, we get unwrap, which means not wrapped. I'm so bored. What do you want to do today? Hmm, I know. Let's go ice skating. No, that's too cold. I'd rather go sit in a hot tub where it's steaming hot. Did you hear the two antonyms? If you did, pause the video, write down the two antonyms, and then unpause the video to see if you're correct. If you said that the two antonyms were cold and hot, then you are correct. I know, let's draw some anime characters. No, that sounds really difficult. No, it's not. It's really simple if you practice. Which antonyms did you hear this time? Pause the video and write down your answer. If you said that the antonyms were difficult and simple, then you are correct. Hmm, I know. Let's cook some meatloaf for dinner. I really like meatloaf. No, I just like meatloaf. Let's have pizza instead. Which antonyms did you hear this time? Pause the video and write down your answer. If you said that the antonyms were like and dislike, then you are correct. I know, let's play a game. Sweet, that sounds like something we can both agree on. I love playing games. How about the game of life? Uh, that game's really long. How about we play tic-tac-toe? It's a lot shorter. Which antonyms did you hear this time? Pause the video and write down your answer. If you said that the antonyms were long and short, then you are correct. Hey, I know a fun game we can play, boys and girls. It's a game called Would You Rather. In this game, you have to make a choice. Would you rather do this or that? If you're in a classroom with a lot of students, here are the rules. You're going to stand up if you like choice number one, and you're going to sit down if you like choice number two. Hey, those two words are antonyms, stand and sit. Are you ready to play, boys and girls? Well, great, let's begin. Would you rather go somewhere cold or hot? Pause the video and discuss your answers. I would rather go somewhere hot, like the beach. Would you rather be inside where it's warm or outside where it's snowing and cold? I would rather look at the snow from inside the house. It's really warm in there. Would you rather go somewhere quiet or somewhere loud? I would rather go listen to a concert. It's sometimes loud there. Would you rather go underwater in a submarine or go above the earth in a spaceship. I'd rather go underwater in a submarine. That way you can see what all the plants and animals are doing. It's time for your grammar challenge of the day. So grab a piece of paper and something to write with and let's continue to explore antonyms. For today's challenge, you're going to think of two antonyms that you can represent in a picture. You can either draw it on a piece of paper, make it on a Google slide, or take a picture with your camera. You can create an example on a Google slide. I made a mouse that is short and a giraffe that is tall. As an added challenge, see if you can find challenging words to represent your antonyms. For example, miniature is small and gigantic means tall. You might want to take a picture of some antonyms. Here I have a stoplight, which means to stop, and a green light, which means to go. Those are antonyms because a car does different things. Thanks for joining me here today as we learned about antonyms. You might have started off feeling really nervous about antonyms and how to use them in class, but after you watch this video, you feel a lot more confident. Hey, look at there, another antonym example. They're everywhere. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.